My name is Oren, and I'm a research associate in Harvard Medical School. Autism hurts millions of children and costs hundreds of billions of dollars for one reason. We detect it too late. Autism is diagnosed on average after age four when treatment effect is limited. In the few cases detected at age two, treatment can drastically reduce autism severity. And we detect autism at birth. Our test gives a sound and then records the brainstem response to it, which is very slow in autism, allowing accurate prediction at birth. We published our findings and are now replicating on 50,000 newborns. That's 50 times larger than the world's largest database of autism brain tests. And it's a thousand times younger. So how did we do it? Think of children you know under the age of 10. Most of them had this test when they were born to detect hearing impairment. So we looked back at that data and looked to see who would later develop autism, all with existing data, not spending a single dollar on amazingly large uh, results. And uh, what we found is that this accuracy is really higher than what's currently available at much uh, later ages. And so what we're now planning is to add this algorithm to those hearing devices so that they would also test autism whenever they do the hearing test. This test is done on 4 million newborns a year, allowing up to 40,000 newborns with autism to be detected. And this test is rapidly expanding to developing countries where autism is rarely diagnosed. These children are often labeled as insane or possessed and are treated horribly. This test can help start remove the label and get early treatment when the brain is flexible to allow drastic better outcomes. So this test can help millions of children in the developing and developed countries break the wall of autism. Thank you.